Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to episode three of Soy. We are alive. We are well. You know, yeah, it's been good. So praise him for that. Today we're gonna eat some legs and shoulders, and then oh, I'm just gonna vlog like I normally do. So stay tuned and let's go. Yeah. So I'm making what I made yesterday. There's only one egg in here, and usually this thing requires two eggs. So hope you can like finish this recipe. Let me show you guys quickly. So yeah, this is how things are looking. The dry ingredients, the wet. And there's only one egg. So yeah, I'm gonna be busy making my protein muffins and then I'll check in with you guys again when I'm like making my shakes in the anabolic corner. I don't know what else to call it, but I wait. Yo, so this is the anabolic corner. This is my pre-workout meal. The muffins that I made. Cookie top, muffin bottom. <laughs> so for the intro workout, I'm gonna go with the Kriya Muscle from Psycho. Put it in the Hibi Nation shaker. Shake this up. And then for my post-workout, we're going to go with some creatine. And then of course, the hydrated oil of USA. I'm going to go with one scoop of this. If your shaker doesn't have such a compartment thing, put a brand in check if they don't have such a thing. So, I just have one nice scoop of this. And then... About 2.5 grams of creatine, so that's like a half a serving size. So, this is 5 grams, this is like 10 milliliters. So, that's 5 grams. I have another scoop in here, which is half of that. So, this is 5 milliliters. Just one of that. And I'm ready for my workout. Intra workout, post workout. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have pre workout, but for the pre workout, we're having this. Always struggle to close this thing, it's kind of awkward. By the way, that's, that's the stack. Yo, it's actually very important uh, to like use food as your pre-workout because sometimes like when you get used to using something or like you get used to using um let's say you use whatever pre-workout you're using now your body's gonna get used to like getting that energy or whatever from like a synthetic or like an artificial type of source so when you eat your food that's a natural source you know and you eat a lot of food usually so then your body's gonna get used to taking your food as a source of energy you understand so it's going to digest the carbs accordingly and it's going to use the proteins accordingly and the fats accordingly so sometimes it's good not taking pre-workout and just eating food as pre-workout i'm currently eating my pre-workout meal that i made early on um i was looking good actually even though it was made like with one egg i put like an extra um thing of like baking powder in so now it's looking proper actually better than yesterday's one you guys already know if you're looking for the recipe i uploaded it yesterday with the vlog the previous vlog so check it out i hope you can enjoy it so at the gym today i'm going to train some shoulders and legs as i said for the last like four times but usually i'm doing shoulders and legs together now because i actually have an injury on my foot i hurt my foot jogging leave it or not and oh wait, that was not cool. I've been like hurt for about two weeks and this is the third week now and I'm finally feeling solid, but I don't want to put any pressure on it. I just wanted to recover well so I can be like back into the gym maybe like in two weeks time and start going hard in the gym like I used to. I can vlog this, but um, I will. <laughs> the video is live. Uh, it just dropped like a few minutes ago. I was just like enjoying the moment, just like being in the moment. 
uh, I feel joyful, I feel thankful, you know, today's the yeah, this opportunity to like just be able to have a phone, being able to speak, being able to like watch myself from YouTube and uh, we man, I hope you guys are gonna like, enjoy this whole new journey with me and uh, we man, let's make some spiritual gains, let's make some family gains and friendship gains and then ultimately make some muscle gains, so stay tuned gang. I'm gonna go to the gym now only because I was like debating all the time. I said, like, wait till this video drops at home or must I watch it at gym? But I watched it at home with my family, my brother, my sister in her room, and I went with people in the live, like when it premiered live. Yeah, just being in the moment with the people who was there, you know? So I went. So I am currently gonna go to the gym now. Um, however. I'm not sure if I'm going to get nice content at the gym because I'm going at the hour it's peak time now and I don't want to disturb people's workout but um, hopefully I'm cool with it hopefully they're cool with it and I can get some you know basic workout content for you guys I'll try my best to film if I can while still being like respectful you know so respectful of other people's space or whatever yeah it's like a 16 minute 12 minute walk to the gym depending on my pace so i'll check in with you guys there Five hours later
It's misty. I don't know. I don't know, man. You guys could go and see me, but it's no cheating right now. By the way, on my way home, shoulder decision was solid. The legs were solid as well, but could have been better. But shoulders was good. Just be told now. I actually um, stay in Gotham, so I wear it's a lot of foggy nights here in Gotham and stuff. Nothing new. Just gonna go save some people. Oh yeah. I am the knight. I am Batman. Yo, what's up, guys? So I actually prepped some food for like the days ahead, so that I can eat. The only thing is, there is no protein yet. I mean, there is protein because lentils are rich in protein and carbs, but there's no like solid source of protein. For example, chicken, almonds. I'm still gonna buy that and hopefully I'll get it by tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's Friday. Hopefully I'll get it by tomorrow. Because the weekend's gonna be too late. If not, Friday, then Sunday, definitely. But let me just show you guys quickly. <laughs> it's gonna look gross for some of you guys, but it is what it is. If you're a big boy, you would eat this. So yeah, this is how it's looking, man. I know it looks like absolute dog food, but this one's not for life, it's not for sissies. Yeah, I am a dog, so oh, wait, if this if this is my own. <laughs> I don't know why I'm panning through the cameras, but oh yeah, that is the reason why it's so clumpy and like so together is because that's how I like it. Cool. Okay, I don't like it when it's clumpy. I like it when it's clumpy when it's loose as well. But I just prefer it like this because I like to... I don't strain the my water. I would rinse it before, but I wouldn't rinse it like strain it afterwards. Just for nutrient preservation. To keep like the nutrients locked in. And to keep all the flavor in still. So then I eat it like that. And I wait, that's how I've been doing it. And it's cool for me, you know. It works for me. But if you want it more aesthetic, more pleasing, then rinse it after you're done cooking it and you should be cool. Let me show you guys what I'm eating tonight. Last meal of the day. This is also for the big boys, for the lighties. They're gonna think it's gross. But I think it's gross, but it's cool. I eat it. For the games. So this is literally what I'm having tonight. So that's basically a tin of pulchards. What? And lentils. But yeah, this is it. Final meal of the day. Pretty high in protein. Very high in fats, and that meal will make you full. And I didn't like my protein for the day wasn't that high, so I'm thinking like, you know, there's about I think 80 grams of protein in that altogether, or like 90 grams of protein in that meal. I think 80 just to be safe. So I wear. I'm just gonna knock it off here with this meal. <laughs> 